So the goal of our study was to determine whether or not the combination of an ACE or ARB with cotrimoxol was associated with an increased risk of sudden death. ACEs, or angiotensin converting enzyme inhibitors, or ARBs, angiotensin receptor blockers, are amongst the most commonly used medications across North America. These medications are used for the treatment of high blood pressure, congestive heart failure, and chronic kidney disease. A side effect of these medications is increased blood potassium levels, or hyperkalemia. Cotrimoxazole is a commonly used medication for urinary tract infections. It's an antibiotic which combines trimethoprim and sulfamethoxazole. It also carries an increased risk of hyperkalemia. Previous studies have demonstrated that combining an ACE or ARB with cotrimoxazole can result in severe hyperkalemia. And it's known that severe hyperkalemia can affect the conduction system of the heart and potentially result in cardiac arrest. Thus, our research question sought out to determine whether or not the combination of an ACE or ARB with cotrimoxazole was associated with an increased risk of sudden death. In Ontario, the most populous province of Canada, we as researchers are fortunate to have health administrative databases that allow us to both follow individuals over time and across multiple aspects of their health care with unprecedented power. Using these linked administrative databases, over a period of nearly two decades, between 1994 and 2012, we identified a nest of individuals over the age of 65 who were prescribed either an ACE or an ARB. We identified individuals who died suddenly within seven days of an outpatient antibiotic prescription for either cotrimoxazole, ciprofloxacin, norfloxacin, nitrofurantoin, or amoxicillin. For each case who died suddenly, we matched them with up to four controls on their age, sex, and the presence of chronic kidney disease or diabetes. After adjusting for a variety of risk factors for sudden death, we compared the odds of sudden death across the different antibiotics using amoxicillin as the reference group. Because cotrimoxazole-induced hyperkalemia can take longer than seven days to manifest clinically, we replicated our analysis using a 14-day time window between outpatient antibiotic prescription and sudden death. So for our primary analysis, we found that cotrimoxazole was associated with nearly a 40% increased risk of sudden death compared to amoxicillin. Ciprofloxacin, a drug known to cause QT prolongation, was also associated with an increased risk of sudden death, but no increased risk was observed with the other study antibiotics. For our secondary analysis, analyzing the risk of sudden death within 14 days of prescription for an antibiotic, again we found an increased risk of sudden death associated with cotrimoxazole. Specifically, nearly a 50% increased risk of sudden death compared to amoxicillin. An increased risk was not observed with the other study antibiotics. To help contextualize these results, this equates to approximately three additional sudden deaths with 1,000 cotrimoxol prescriptions compared to one sudden death per 1,000 amoxicillin prescriptions. Several lines of evidence support the notion that cotrimoxazole-related hyperkalemia explains our findings. We know from case reports and from observational studies that patients given cotrimoxazole can develop hyperkalemia rather quickly and this can be particularly severe in patients who are already taking other drugs that can increase the risk of hyperkalemia like ACE inhibitors and ARBs. In our uh, analysis, ciprofloxacin was also associated with an increased risk of sudden death. This isn't terribly surprising. We know that this drug is used in patients who tend to be sicker than those who receive cotrimoxazole. We also know that Cipro can directly prolong the QT interval in susceptible patients, and in that way it could uh, easily cause sudden death in, in some. Importantly, the association between ciprofloxacin and sudden death dissipated in our 14-day analysis. Some limitations of our research are important to note. Uh, first of all, we looked at patients who are 66 years of age and older, and so our conclusions may not be generalizable to younger people or to patients who have fewer drug and disease-related risk factors for hyperkalemia. We uh, used a validated algorithm to identify uh, sudden cardiac death, but it's uh, quite likely that some degree of uh, misclassification arose during the course of our analysis. And finally, we used administrative databases. We didn't have access to blood potassium values, creatinine measurements, and that sort of thing. 
It's important to appreciate, though, that these limitations apply equally to all of the drugs we studied, including cotrimoxazole, amoxicillin, and ciprofloxacin. We speculate that unrecognized hyperkalemia may explain the increased risk of sudden death observed in our study. Specifically, it is known that the combination of an ACE or ARB, when used in combination with cotrimoxol, can cause life-threatening hyperkalemia. We would recommend that clinicians select an alternate antibiotic when clinically appropriate and limit the dose and duration wherever possible. When an alternate antibiotic is not available or clinically appropriate, then we would recommend close monitoring of patient's serum potassium levels and informing patients of the risk of hyperkalemia when ACEs or ARBs are used in combination with cotrimoxazole.